Today, I'm just going to show you a quick trick that you can use if you forget one of the facts in your nine times table. What you do is you put your fingers out and you number them one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten from left to right like that. Then, if you want to calculate 3 multiplied by 9, what you do is you go and you count finger number 1, 2, 3, and you bend that one down, like this. So, for 3 times 9, you've bent down finger number 3. You then look and you see that you have two fingers to the left of the bent finger, so your tens will be a 2. And you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 fingers to the right of the bent finger. So your units digit is a 7. Just a quick little trick in case you forget. Let's do another example. If you wanted to do 9 times 5, then what you do is you bend down finger number 5, like you can see in this picture here. You have a look and you see you've got 1, 2, 3, 4 to the left. So you have a 4 there and you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to the right. And so you have a 5 there, 45. As I say, this is just a little trick in case you forget. Last example of this, if we wanted to do 9 times 9, we would then bend down finger number 9. We then have a look and we see to the left we've got 8 fingers. And to the right of the bent finger we just have 1 and we have 81 as our answer. Just a little trick and it only works for the 9 times table this trick but it can be quite helpful if you've forgotten something. Let's have a look in a slightly more sensible way at the 9 times table. You can have a look at your 9 times table and see in fact quite a lot of fun patterns. For example, just have a look here at how it goes up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 in your tens column and it comes down 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 in your units units. And if you just take the, in the first view of these, if you take the two digits and add them together, you can see you end up with 9. 1 and 8 makes 9, 2 and 7 makes 9, 3 and 6 make 9. Quite fun to just play around with the 9 times table and see a whole lot of those patterns. Most of these patterns arise because of one fact. And let me just do, show you this because it is a helpful thing when you need to multiply by 9. Remember when we multiplied by 11, we said you could say, look, it's multiplying by 10 and then adding on one more of the number. Well, in a similar way, multiplying by 9 is really just multiplying by 10 and taking away one more of the number. Let me show you what I mean. If we wanted to do 9 times 8, what we're wanting is we've got 9 lots of 8. Well, 9 lots of 8, we can say we've got 10 lots of 8, oops, but that's one too many, so we must subtract off one lot of 8. 10 lots of 8 is 80, one lot of 8 is 8, and subtracting it off will give us 72. This means it's very easy for us to do any calculation when we are multiplying by 9. So let's do another one. If we wanted to say 9 times by 23 even, what we can think of that as is we can say we have got, we wanted 9 lots of 23. Well, we can easily work out 10 lots of 23, but we'll have too many then. So then we must take away one lot of 23. 10 lots of 23 is 230. Taking away one lot of 23 will leave me with 207.